Well, good afternoon, ladies and germs. Uh, today I thought I'd do a little review on this um, <clears throat> engine support bar. I uh, bought it at Harbor Freight. I went over and they had a big sale, and I actually got this for uh, $79. And uh, it looks like it's going to pretty much do what I need to do. The um, reason I bought it is um, I have a uh, Taurus 2001 has a 3.0 engine in it and transmissions acting up no second gear um, no slipping and just no second gear and you got to suit all the other gears fine but I pretty much know what's wrong with it but you gotta pretty much uh, take the transmission out there are two ways you can do that you can use an engine hoist rip everything off that engine um, really get involved and pull everything out as one unit and separate the transmission or you can take the subframe off which is underneath of it take those four big bolts off and then you can drop this transmission down <clears throat> after you drop the uh, subframe hopefully you can hear me when this motorcycle goes by Jesus and the cicadas okay all right so uh, the reason I bought it is I was on, I was that close that close of using my engine hoist and I'm gonna pull all this out of there and I went online and did a lot of research and found out it's actually easier and less complicated if I just take the transmission down drop the uh, frame. So I went out and bought one of these guys. You pretty much uh, got to have one of these. What this is, it is uh, a tool that will hold up the engine once you take the subframe off. And it looks like about a thousand pounds it will hold. And it's got a couple chains and some uh, <clears throat> uh, nice little uh, adjustment nuts on it and everything. And I haven't even opened it yet, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up and we'll take a look at it. And unlike a lot of videos online, they just show you some pretty pictures and they don't show you how to assemble it and what it looks like. We're going to go all the way with that today. We're going to go ahead and um, <clears throat> take it completely apart. And in the fine print it says, uh, supports engine or transmission in place during repairs. It includes uh, standing blocks, brackets, adjusting screws, rubber uh, molded cushion, steel chain with handles hooks and looks like some hardware and hopefully you will be able to uh, see this video pretty clear because I'm not shooting this on a HD camera this is just a standard hard drive camera I need to buy one that's why my videos are a little greeny so um, I'll go over here and get my uh, clippers and I'll go ahead and <clears throat> rip this apart I'm doing this freehanded so it may get a little weird I probably should have got a knife a tape this down. Oops. Take that off. All right. That's out of the way. Go ahead and cut this open. The tape. To there. And to here. I did a review on a uh, a, a, uh, uh, a press uh, a few years ago and. A lot of people liked it, so I figured, well, I might as well do something again, since I'm always working on cars. And I think I got all of it. I may have to set the camera down here just for a second. Let's see. Hopefully you can still see that. Right there. All right, hold on. Okay, now it's open. At least I think it is. Ah, well, those Mexicans put on some good uh, staples in there. I'm going to have to take that apart. It's going to take me longer to get it out of the box than it is to assemble it. Alright, there we go. And this side. This thing weighs probably 40, 50 pounds. You can pretty much carry it if you're if you can, <clears throat> excuse me there, my throat's a little dry. All right, here we go. All right, you get a mat, you get a little pamphlet and all that good stuff. Owner's manual. Item number, by the way, is nine six five two four, and tells you how to put it together. Operating instructions. And there is apparently how you stick it together. It looks um, pretty simple. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and uh, 
Let's see. I'm going to set the camera up on the tripod. Real quick. Here. And hopefully, I don't know, maybe you can see. I'll zoom back as far as I can get. Alright, go ahead and take part of this out. Apparently in this, apparently in this box, I think you can see that there. Yeah, uh, there's a few chains and hooks and all that. I guess you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. Okay. Well, oh, come on, I'm slow today. It's about 90 degrees out here in the humidity. Okay. All right, so you get a couple of adjusting uh, rods, get the chain, two chains, and these are your uh, end adjusting pieces, and you've got the little wasp pieces here that set on the very end near the fender so you can hold that bar up and let's see. here's the top piece where uh, you spin this around Oops. you spin this around and you can raise the uh, hoist up and down but this will be more explanatory once I put it together we'll set it up on the car and you got this piece get <laughs> out there it is I think you can see that engine support bar. It's pretty heavy. Um, it looks like it's got some pretty good welds on it. It's made in. Uh, uh, I want to see what it was made at. Probably, more than likely, it's made in China. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, it's Pittsburgh. Uh, Automotive company, I guess they sell these to Harbor Freight. And Harbor Freight resells them. I don't know, but anyway, uh, there it is. Uh, take the camera back off the tripod here and get it off there. There's one more look at it. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll stick it up on the car and give you a nice look how it operates and. Uh, <clears throat> what it uh, looks like and how it uh, should feel and looks like it's pretty safe and strong and this is a double beam which is really nice and it's got some pretty like I said pretty decent welds and it looks like it should do the job pretty well but um, one good thing is I said do not remove okay because you avoid you avoid your warranty blah 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 <clears throat> The reason I went and bought this also was by the time you took this engine completely out, all the bolts and stuff, you'll, you probably take, I have, would have to unhook 50 to 100 bolts. Uh, just by doing this, four big subframe bolts underneath, transmission bolts, and some wires, you're probably going to cut your time down in half. And you don't have to probably drain out your fluid or your oil, although I will have to drain my transmission fluid. So um, let me go ahead and set this up there and we'll. Get a look at it and uh, see what you guys think. Okay, folks, I've got her uh, all assembled, and there she is. She looks pretty good. Let's look at it real closely here. We've got the uh, <clears throat> adjustment pin right here and everything. And I tell you what, this thing is 49 inches, no, 59 inches, I believe, wide, and it takes up every inch of that uh, space that I need from there over this fender <clears throat> so uh, it worked out pretty good and like I said there are the nuts for that you just kind of tighten that down and, it, and it's got little rubber feet that sit on your fender so that makes it really nice and there's your uh, adjusting uh, big nut there and you can get your chain on there you can kind of anchor up the engine put some bolts through it same thing on this side looks pretty good and uh, like I said the chain 
on this side you can tie it to uh, somewhere on your engine and uh, that's the way it is over here and uh, like I said the rubber feet make it really nice <clears throat> you don't have to worry about it sliding around or anything so I'll give you one more look at it here look at it from that angle back up And there's a look at it from the front angle. By the way, today's Memorial Day, so I went over and got this on Memorial Day. And there's a look at it from this angle. So it looks like it will do my job. This is really gonna save me a lot of time. Um, <clears throat> it'll take me a while to get this out, but I will not have to worry about um, all the stuff that I thought I was gonna have to worry about. I've seen some guys on YouTube taking these engines and transmissions out as one unit thinking why in God's name when they do that when you can spend $79 for that and drop that tranny. By the way I do have a transmission jack. It's a small jack sitting in the garage that I've used before. I only paid $80 for it. I've had it for years. That's how I'm going to drop the transmission out. Uh, you could probably do it with two guys if you're pretty strong but uh, to be safe you will probably need uh, some kind of a jack to lower that transmission down. And By the way when I get ready to do this I'm going to have to take both wheels off and the axles do come out <clears throat> and all that. That's going to be in another video once I do that. And by the way, I may go ahead and do a video on pulling this transmission out, how it worked out and everything later. But I just want to make a quick video on this uh, Harbor Freight engine support bar. I didn't know they even existed until about two years ago. And I never thought I'd ever need one. But uh, this will pay for itself, that's for sure. All right, well, that's the end of the video, guys. Thanks for watching and uh, check it out. Harbor Freight's pretty cool, man. They got a big store. All right, take care, everybody. Thanks for watching.